the Dukes Wrestling Academy here in London, Ontario, uh, Canada, and I am here with the one and only Jim Strider, a.k.a. James. Yeah, a.k.a. James. <laughs> How's it going, good, brother? Good Thanks for coming you. on the show. Absolutely. Um, so we're here at the, the Tyson Dukes Wrestling Factory, and we're talking about what it takes to become a pro wrestler. Now, um, you're a young, up-and-coming, hopeful wrestler. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Tell me a, a little bit about the school. Tell me a little bit about... Uh, what your journey's been like to get where you are at now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I joined when the school first opened. Yeah. Um, October, I guess it was 2017. Oh, wow. Yeah, going yeah, into wow. 2018. Um, had no pre- like previous experience. Literally just got <laughs> off the couch. I had right. done sports and martial arts for a long time. Nice. Took some years off. Um, came in terribly out of shape. Uh, Tyson quickly whipped us into shape. Right, um, which you will. Yeah, and it was uh, grueling to start. Right. I, grueling would be the word I would use. It was just the most physically intense thing I had ever done. And I've really? done football, rugby, boxing, Muay Thai. I had never experienced really? anything like pro wrestling. It was just like just the mental toughness and the mm. physical toughness you need to develop right. when you start training. is It's something else. Is it true that the hardest thing to do when you first start is the bumps, or is it the ropes? Oh, jeez. Because uh, I've, I've heard both. I've heard the me- bumps or the running the ropes. Mentally, it was the bumps, because you have to override your survival instinct of trying to stop yourself from falling towards your, your head right. and just kind of embrace it and throw yourself up high on your shoulders. So mentally, that was tough trying to uh, stop from stopping yourself. Right. Uh, the ropes, though, man. Oh, my. And, and, I thought it broke my ribs. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, are they, they really that bad? Well, like, I, just, never really I was wrong. like, I was just committed to it, so I was just going 100 miles an hour. Right. And when I was hitting him, I was just like, oh, God, <laughs> I should probably control myself more. But right. yeah, it's, uh, you, your body quickly calluses right. uh, to that kind okay. of physical strain. So mm. now it's nothing. Now I don't even think about it. Really? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, is it one of the, No, I listen to a lot of wrestling podcasts, yeah. and you'll hear someone like a, a Jericho or a... A Christian get back in the road, and that's the first thing he says is, "Those calluses are gone." Yeah, just like yeah, you said, so they, it's an actual yeah. thing. Um, what are some other the little secrets? I guess that uh, the folks at home aren't aware of that you know that that, that kind of adds to that mental stress, you know, <laughs> that that physical uh, stress. Well, the big thing in matches is your memory. If you don't have a good memory, and really, you, and you blank. It's, uh, that's a scary moment. You're really? in there, yeah, and you just stand across from your opponent, and there's a full house around you. Everybody's mm. cheering. You go, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Thankfully, that's never happened to me. Right, I've right. had it happen to guys I've been in there with. <laughs> sorry, so, so sorry, what happens? Lost. You gotta. That's when you gotta, That's when you gotta be a professional. Uh, you gotta communicate with yep. your opponent and get things back on track. Right. Take no. control of the situation. You don't want to let anything get away from you. Right. Understandable. Yeah. How important is the referee in a situation like that, or in, in for the entire match? Very important. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Referees are are the unsung heroes, right? Because they oftentimes uh, will a they make sure everybody's safe. Mm-hmm. If you take a big bump, they're the first guy over, making sure you're okay to right. continue. Uh, like that's real. They always go, are you, yeah, yeah. "Can you continue?" But if you the, don't answer them, they're usually like, "The yeah. X is a good yeah, thing." Yeah, <laughs> the X. Um, so there's that aspect. Uh, they communicate. For example, uh, my last match, I had my back turned, and a guy was running up behind me, and I turned to catch him. The ref's going, here he comes. Ref told oh, me, here he comes. Know. Nice. So I turned around, and, and we did the next uh, sequence awesome. of the match. So, yeah, they're awesome. very important. So, um, so, like you said, they're very important. They're the ones that are kind of directing the match there yeah, for they you. Help you. They help you. Yeah. Um, so, so, so that's a little insight there for you. Yeah. Now, when it comes to, uh, you know, actually making your way up and, you know, what the ultimate goal is obviously got to be the Fed. Yep. Or, you know, maybe yeah. the, all, the new uh, All Elite, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, what are the steps you got to take? And what are, the, what are some of the, the stepping stones you see that might come along the way for you? Yeah. Uh, 
big thing for me is uh, the uh, physical aspect. So I'm trying to work on bodybuilding, trying right. to get better shape, trying to get bigger, stronger. Uh, just always want to become a better athlete. Right, right. Um, that's what I'm really focusing on right now, as well as trying to put on quality matches. Yes. Uh, trying to take what Tyson has taught me uh, and implement that effectively to my strengths in a match. Right. Um, now I've watched your matches. You don't you don't use a lot of martial arts in your matches. No, no, I keep I it very, of, yeah, I keep it I keep I, I like to keep it uh, almost minimalist, you know. Right, right. Uh, keep it a little simpler in there. Okay. I like to try to make a little some more moments instead of moves. I'm a moments right, right, guy. Right, right, you know, right. a, it's all about the story. Yeah, exactly. More than anything else. Right, exactly. Right. And I know everybody says that, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I uh, I'm a bigger guy in there, so I'm not the one doing the flips and the right. and the high spots. I let the other guys do that. Right, right, right. The, the flies yeah. and stuff. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The the, uh, the really athletic guys. The, yeah, the vertigos and the. <laughs> exactly. Phrases, so. well, we gotta watch that word vertigo with Jake Jones around right now. I know. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll cut that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, that, that's amazing. So. So, um, what, like I said, what is the, what's the next step then for you? What, what do you see yourself doing next to, to get to the next step higher? Um, next step for me is to keep progressing, I think, locally. Just right. kind of building up, uh, getting better, learning as much as I can from the guys around here because we have some amazing talent. Yeah, for sure. Really, really underappreciated talent. Uh, locally, you got the guys in the pillars. You know your Josh Alexanders. Yes. Like who's like probably the the best in Canada right now. Yeah. So I mean, like I, I'm backstage with these guys. Like I, I just yeah. try to absorb everything I can and and listen and yeah. and grow as a talent. So that's my goal right now is to kind of develop uh, locally, get kind of a name going. And then yeah. I think the key thing for a lot of wrestlers right now is the online presence is huge. Yes. Uh, a lot of guys can really make a name for themselves by just putting themselves out there. And Zach like, Ryder. Yeah, and tr- exactly, <laughs> or even you know like the being the elite videos, or right, a, exactly. a guy like a guy like Joe Hendry who does those uh, hilarious yeah, music are, videos. Like y- there are ways for you to, to break through that next level, but it just depends how hard you want to work and right. what you want to put in. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, you've put in all the work there. Um, one last question, I guess I would ask, and it, it kind of goes to what you're saying about being in the back room with all those guys. Yeah. As the as the the new guy and the, mm-hmm. the green guy, you yep. know, uh, and everybody knows like you're from Tyson School and stuff. Yep. Um, what are the guys like? with you in the back room is it still like the old days with the ribbing are they good Not to you? Yeah, there's, so, there's some guys who uh who like to to kind of give you a hard time but i am always i've always been good with that i right. don't uh i'm always uh, i like to have a laugh and joke so yeah. i don't that stuff always i love it and you're an athlete um, anyways you used to yeah exactly right, right. of the locker rooms you guys you know always trying to prank you or something right. so I'm, I'm probably one of the worst guys for that so as soon as i get to that next level i'll be the guy doing it so now you guys know <laughs> just yeah. be careful of this guy if you're going to train with him <laughs> yeah. but uh no it's it's everybody's great um we have a really good community here uh of wrestlers yeah um there are guys who genuinely want to help yeah. You know, um, like even I, I just drove up to uh, Border Town with Tyler Turva, and like he gives yeah. me so much yeah, advice that it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Like it's it's just invaluable. You know, little yeah. things like like uh, keeping your merchandise organized and, and things like that. He just gives right. me tips. You know, and you know, so like riding with Dukes. You know, it's like what don't you learn? <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Especially if you're riding with him and the rest of the pillars or anything. Yeah, so, yeah. You know. So it's uh, everybody's really awesome, and I've I've really been embraced, uh, thankfully, by the locker room. Awesome. And uh, you know. You, you get what you give, so as long as you're respectful and polite, right. and as a new guy, you listen mm-hmm. and, and show an interest in learning and respecting the business and developing, they'll give that back to you, and they'll, they're will they more than willing to help you grow to the next level. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, that's uh, that's amazing, and that's a lot of good lessons for any young wrestlers out there uh, looking to break into the business. Um, keep an eye out for this man right here, Jim Strider. Uh, awesome. Man. This has uh, been so much fun, and I can't wait to see you at the next event. Thanks, buddy. Can't wait. Oh, 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 oh,